As a gardeners, we all know the importance of having a healthy and the beautiful garden. But unfortunately, pests can ruin that in no time. Pests can cause damage to your plants, reduce their growth, and even kill them. But don't worry, there are several ways to control the pests in the garden and keep your plants safe. Hello and welcome to Pot and Bloom. I'm Dr. Dhananji Naik, your urban garden scientist. And today I will be talking about some of the most effective pest control methods for your garden. But first, let us talk about what can attract the pests to your garden. Pests are attracted to the gardens for the different reasons like over fertilization, lack of the proper sanitization and the poor drainage. When we over fertilize our plants, we create an environment that's perfect for the pests to thrive. And when we don't properly sanitize our garden tools and the equipment, we risk spreading pests from one plant to another plant. Keep your garden clean and keep your plants watered and fertilized optimally. Now let us talk about pest control methods. The first method is using natural protection spray. By opting for the natural protection spray, you can choose to avoid using chemicals in your garden. You can check out our website www.potandbloom.com for the natural plant protection spray, which will not only help you control pests, but also safe for the environment. The second method is some pests like aphids have natural predators like ladybugs and the lace wings that can help control their population by encouraging these natural predators to visit your garden and you can help keep pests under control. The third method is using traps. As the name it indicates, these are the devices that trap the pests before they have chance to damage your plants. For example, sticky traps such as yellow sheets smeared with a specific glue can be used to catch flying insects like white flies and the thrips. The fourth method is using the pesticides. Pesticides can be effective way to control the pests, but it's important to use them responsibly and judiciously. Always read the label to use the correct amount of the pesticide for the type of the pest you are trying to control. The fifth method is companion planting. Companion planting is a method of planting different plants together that can benefit each other in some way. For example, planting marigold near your tomato plants can help keep pests like aphids nematodes away from the tomatoes, while the tomatoes can provide shade for the marigold. This is also called as trap crops. This is a natural and effective way to control pests in your garden. So do some research and find plants that can work well together so that you can use as a companion plant to control the pests. And the sixth and the last one on the list is using physical barriers to keep pests away from your plants. For example, you can use row covers to protect your plant from flying pests, or you can use copper tape to keep slugs and snails away. And these are some of the effective pest control methods for your garden. Thank you for tuning into the pot and bloom. Remember to subscribe to our channel for the more gardening tips and tricks. See you in the next video. Thank you.